What's up everybody, Andy here and welcome to Kit Guru. So I'm pretty excited about today's review because we're checking out another pair of speakers. We recently checked out Edifier's G2000 gaming desktop speakers and despite their tiny stature, their performance was actually quite impressive. So we thought we'd check out something a little bit more substantial today. This time we're taking a look at some larger bookshelf speakers, Edifier's S2000 Mark III's. These come in with a price tag of 400 130 pounds in the UK and this time I will be including a sound test too so stick around for that because I know some of you uh, love that kind of stuff. Before we continue make sure to subscribe and like this video if you enjoy all the content that we make here at Kit Guru. Okay so let's crack on while well, the box is pretty substantial and it's also pretty heavy too at just over 20 kilograms. What I absolutely love was to find everything that's included inside the box. I've seen speakers in the past arriving without any grills or or compatible remotes, often adding these as an extra charge, but that is not the case here. We have our left and right speakers with the protective grills already attached, the user manual, an IR remote control with batteries included, nicely done edifier, 3.5 millimeter to RCA audio cable, RCA to RCA audio cable, fiber optic audio cable, and our speaker connecting cable. Despite everything being included, you can still buy the remote and grill separately if you you ever need to replace them later on. So my first impressions of the speakers are they're just great. They definitely look and feel high quality with a lovely matte black finish with wooden veneer side panels. The grills complement the aesthetics with a rugged design and tight mesh to protect the cones underneath and they stand a couple of centimeters away from the speakers themselves. The dimensions of the speakers are 198 by 276 by 342 millimeters and they weigh in approximately at 17.1 one four kilograms. On each base of the speaker we have very well machined metal rose gold feet with rubber thick bases. The right speaker is our master speaker and this has all of our connection and power ports on the back but there is also an OLED LCD screen on the front of the speaker at the bottom and this displays source, volume, sound profiles and more. I'll come back to this later on though. Looking at the connections on the back we have our permanently attached power cable now, for me personally, I kind of wish this was removable as you could then choose the correct length for wherever you're going to be placing the speakers. We have our speaker cable input, output, and this is how we connect both speakers together. We have our power switch, optical and coaxial input. And what I really liked to find was the two line-in inputs. We have line-in one and line-in two, along with other options. And this makes it possible to connect these speakers to multiple devices at the same time, and then easily switch between them. What I haven't mentioned yet is that these speakers actually have Bluetooth version 5.0 capabilities, along with Qualcomm's aptX HD decoding. This is to give the best quality audio over Bluetooth connections and it supports lossless 24-bit, but your device will need to support this feature. Luckily, my flagship Sony Xperia 1 Mark II mobile phone supports this feature and it just sounds excellent. Bluetooth is easy to set up, just press the Bluetooth button on the remote, scan for devices on your device, and just connect to it. It's as easy as that. Edifier says connection to multiple devices such as TV sets, TV boxes, Blu-ray players, games, consoles, CD and DVD players, smartphones, computers, tablets and other devices is possible. So basically they're saying it can just connect to anything. On the back of the master we also have a dedicated bass and treble knob and this lets you fine tune the levels to your taste and at the top we have another dial for volume but that can also be pushed in for input selection too if you don't want to use the remote control. The slave speaker on the left requires no power. It gets its power through the cable that attaches it to the master speaker. This speaker has no I.O. or anything at all actually and this this is fine because you can then operate both of these speakers from the master speaker or the remote control and it will change any EQ or connectivity settings for both speakers. The remote control is actually a really nice addition and it looks very stylish in my opinion. There's an on-off button, mute, line-in selection, Bluetooth mode, and if you hold this button it will disconnect any Bluetooth device, optical and coaxial buttons, play, pause for Bluetooth devices as well as volume up and down, and previous or next tracks. Underneath we have have four more buttons and these are basically your EQ profiles that you can select. Monitor mode does just that. It sets the audio to a flat response curve for no coloration just like a pair of studio monitors. I love that this is included 
included as an option. Dynamic mode, of course, increases the dynamics for more punch and clarity too. Personally, I absolutely love this one. This one's been my favorite mode by far during my testing and I've been listening to sort of heavier music as that's what I'm currently feeling at the minute. Classic mode reproduces a classic hi-fi sound and vocal mode attempts to bring the vocal presence forward to be clearer in the mix. I'm glad that they've included these profiles instead of none at all. And I'm also glad that there's not too many profiles to choose from. I think these four cover all bases and they work well too with obvious definition between each mode. Don't forget you have the bass and treble fine tuners too if you need to use them. I'll be showing you each of these profiles in use a little later on. When using the remote, all of the actions or input selections are displayed on the screen of the master speaker. I absolutely love this feature. It's very clear to see, and it actually is very helpful. It's a feature I didn't even know I needed until I started using it. Specification wise, the S2000 Mark III speakers are actually high res certified and feature patent pending planar diaphragm tweeters with RMS power of 15 watts and 50 watts for the 5.5 inch woofers. Edifier claim these are perfect for use in rooms as large as 50 meters squared. Now, obviously I can't test that for you, so I apologize. They have high efficiency digital power amplification, dual advanced DSP chips, a digital audio signal with a sample rate of 24 bit, 192 kilohertz, and a frequency response of 45 hertz to 40 kilohertz. Now I'm going to do a slightly extended sound test here to give you all the best representation of these speakers that I can. So do remember everyone's speakers on their devices will be different and you won't hear exactly what these speakers sound like in person, but at least it will be a good reference point. This is a semi-treated room. I'll start with the track itself playing through my editing software and then I will jump to the track on the speakers before going through all four of the EQ profiles. I'll do this with a few different genres too. I've been trying out to my life. Cause I need to be perfect If I could just be a little better Maybe you could be my salvation
going to let you be the judges of what you think these speakers sound like, but as I said, it won't be exactly how they sound in person. For me, monitor mode flattens everything out, the highs and the mids drop, and the bass sort of very slightly evens out. Dynamic mode raises the mids and highs while slightly boosting the bass. Classic mode to me seems to pull the highs ever so slightly lower in the mix. And finally, vocal mode boosts the mids in an attempt to bring out the vocal frequencies. There's a clear distinction between each mode and I think they are actually very effective. As a set it and forget it mode, I prefer dynamic mode, but this again is subjective. Being in a room with these speakers absolutely blew me away. They have some serious volume and I can't even put it up above 38 without being in physical pain. The clarity of these speakers is something else and I can see why they are high res certified. So overall, I'm just struggling to find fault with these speakers. I've literally had a blast testing these out and they sound great with all types of genres and just music in general that I've put through them. The build quality is excellent. The inclusion of the grills, the remote with the battery along with all the connection leads, the ease of use, the ability to use these with pretty much any device, and most importantly, the superb sound quality. I absolutely love Edifier's S2000 Mark III speakers. For some, the price point may be high, but speakers can easily get far more expensive than these ones. So for a good pair of speakers, I think this is a more than fair asking price. If you're in the market for some quality speakers, definitely check these out. So what do you guys think of these speakers? Have you got some yourself or are you looking to buy them? Let us know down in the comments. If you've liked this video, smash the thumbs up, subscribe, ring the notification bell and check out our website daily for tech news. I'm Andy, this is Kitgoo. I'll see you in the next one.